we've been uh okay yeah. they're gonna record it because uh i wasn't sure if Brittany was cu coming on she should be because i uh talked to her just two minutes ago oh okay mm -hmm. i think her meeting got postponed so, is he there uh i'll tell you two dogs there's Brittany. Oh. hi <laughs> Nice talking to you. <laughs> you need to cut you off earlier. I'm so sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I, I was doing the same thing because I was having having my lunch. <laughs> I, I was like, I took the phone off of my ear and then I was like, uh, I was like, oh no. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you. Mm. My little puppy. Can you see him? There he is. Hi, Kate. Hi. I can't see him. Little puppy, we can't see. Oh, he's snuggled. Yeah, but that's Duncan's place. Oh, oh okay. And mm. Duncan, Duncan is saying he's, he hears he's telling you. <laughs> Duncan's here to say, I'm top dog. What's going on here? Hey, eh? yeah. You no, know, go lie down then on his. Anyways, okay. Well, is Roger, are they coming on? I'm gonna guess no. When I sent my email, my reminder email, no answer, so. Oh, I thought you said they were coming on. No. Hey, no worries, we're going without them. Yeah, we can just okay. send them a, a I'm, well, I'm recording, so um, you'll have a recording mm -hmm. and you'll be able to, uh, if there's anything, you can, we, you can sift through. For sure. If you need to. So thank you. And Brittany, you've got the agenda because I don't have it. I yeah. Can't. My I email, I, I just turned off Kojiko because I've been having so much trouble and I'm still having trouble. So I, I don't want, I got to tell everybody, don't, don't, um, I use my Gmail account if, you, if you're sending me an email. Email Harriet Madigan five at gmail.com. I got to okay. get narrowing down to, yeah. So, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> a very busy season. Indeed. Brittany and I had a blast down at the, on Saturday, eh? We had lots of fun. It was so much fun. I had a really good day. Uh, by the way, I noticed that there's uh, a picture of Ralph with two bags on our, it's on our uh, Women to the Power of 10 Living Fit. I have two accounts on Facebook. One is mine and one is, uh, I'd like to take it off because I, I wanted, and I, so I did a post and said, these are the counselors that actually came down and participated. Okay. On your facebook yeah it's on okay. no it's on women to the power of 10 but oh. i don't i try to like to try to remain nonpartisan if i can that's my membership my women to the power of 10 so oh, okay yeah you could just, just take it, it off okay. yeah because uh uh by the he didn't pick up those bags anyways those were jim Clutz bags yeah, because I we posted that to our Instagram. Mm -hmm. It was the photo oh. of me, Dylan, and Peter. Uh, yeah, I left that one on, and yeah. I left I left the other ones of each of the because I thought at least if there's more than one there, we we don't have to take it off. But I, you know, mm -hmm. it just just uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like I shared. Um, like with Joanne, like she posted a photo. So I shared it to the clean green, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, because you can remember. Well. Yeah. Anyway. No worries. Perfect. Okay. But we, we did, uh, we had, how many did we have? We must have had almost 100, eh? There was about, there was 60 names entered into the draw. And some were together. Like, so it was like couples that put their names. Yeah. Oh, so I'd nice. say about like 70 people. Yeah. yeah, that is very, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I ho hope we do that again. We might do it, <clears throat> something for next year is to think about doing that. If we have more resilient neighborhoods on, 
mm-hmm. that we do like a neighborhood thing and then maybe have uh you know uh they used to do this um you know like a donation from pizza pizza or something you know for the neighborhood yeah. thing yeah that would be fun schools. anyways okay clean here yeah. we go growing re- resilient okay. neighborhoods. yeah so yeah how okay. did um some comments on lug a mug you know how did all that go i thought it went really well i ended up doing coffee and tea and uh banana bread just because uh bonnie had done that and i thought i'm gonna do that too you know just to have nice. something so i ordered <laughs> i got a receipt for that by the way i got a i yeah. ordered uh like a twigs and um nobody drank the coffee or the tea or the water they just ate the banana bread <laughs> uh i had a coffee so. oh you had a coffee okay <laughs> good well, smart, yeah <laughs> well what i did was I ended up giving it to Roger and he took it back to his staff room. Oh, the, okay. For the policeman. Yeah. I thought that was nice too. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. we had, uh, I, I thought Roger was going to talk about the five steps to a resilient neighborhood, mm-hmm. but he didn't. He talked about other things and he could do, you know, and people had lots of good questions, right, Kate? Yeah. And so it was great. I thought it was fine. Um, people had that handout so they could go home and read it over. Mm-hmm. And uh, it just seemed like it was well received. Any comments, Kate? What did you think? Uh, I thought it was good. I thought it would have been nice to see some more like kids and, and, and families out, but there was a, a few there. Um, I think our challenge will be to kind of blend the pockets of like smaller communities that exist within our, our neighborhood. Um, I think probably a lot of the people that were there may have known each other already. So, yeah. um, but it had a really great turnout and people were really interested and support it, supportive of it. So that's great. Yeah. And I think uh, the timing, if we were going to have it, it would probably be better at a different time. Mm-hmm. But we don't need to have a policeman back if we do anything. Yeah. Uh, uh, not that I'm aware of anyways. No. So, so we could have it at, uh, I don't know, I, I don't have little kids anymore. So what's the best time to have a gathering? Uh, I think like any time after five, probably oh, I'm, I'm thinking before then it's a barrier, not necessarily because the kids, but people are, they work. So mm-hmm. at, on Thursday at four, like, I mean, my schedule is flexible, but a lot of people probably would have uh, been better 4.30 or flexible. five, probably, eh? A bit later, probably, but I know that uh, that was a challenge for Roger. So I thought I thought it was a really good way to kind of get everybody's feet wet and to have them there. It just lends credibility to the program. So yeah, but if we were to do things in the future, like even a Saturday morning or something like that, I think would be really good for people. Just uh, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I agree. Important, right? We might. Um, Kate and I are talking about doing something closer to Halloween, you know, uh, books and boards, like we might do that. Or, and um, I don't know, uh, there are neighborhoods, but I know of a neighborhood, Premier Road neighborhood, they do a whole, each of their homes do, a, they have a contest on decoration. Ooh, that's and they fun. decorate for Halloween, mm-hmm. you know. They're amazing. Yeah, I know you should see it. It's just amazing. I wonder if we could, maybe uh, we were talking about having a a pumpkin, you know, uh, I don't know, a pumpkin carving con, not just put out your carved uh, pumpkin or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Kate and I are going to chat about what we'll do. And then maybe Brittany will get you to do a flyer. Mm -hmm. And we'll, I'll get my neighborhood to, my neighbors to deliver them. They did it the last time. They did a great job. And, uh, um, and just, we, maybe we'll try to do something around that. Eh, Kate, what do you think? Yeah, I think it'd be neat. I, we were kind of playing with the idea and I said, we could do, um, like a weekend, like a spectacular or something. So two or three really, really simple activities, but that are neighborhood building. So. People yeah. are probably going to carve a pumpkin anyways, but maybe 
we can turn it into um, something where it's <laughs> more participation and then award for whatever we think is like the niftiest pumpkin mm -hmm. <laughs> and then have like an hour or two on Saturday morning where or Sunday morning whatever where we put out um, like books and, and, uh, books and board games, puzzles and then just kind of do a neighborhood swap and then maybe something else just things that are really easy for manageable for people but yeah. Uh, make it kind of a neighborhood event where not everybody has to come together, but they're participating. We maybe could do something like from two to four. Yeah. Put out your pumpkin, uh, your bo books and your boards, and uh, we could do a prize of some kind. I don't yeah. know. We'll think about that one. Mm -hmm. But then again, you know, you got kids that won't get a prize, and I don't. Does that matter anymore? Is that part of the? I don't. I don't know. I think we could even just do like print off a certificate for like best neighborhood pumpkin or something. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, so, so it's not. Uh, nobody's yeah. missing out on anything. But. I like that. I like a little award for every pumpkin that's put out. You know. Yeah, something simple. <laughs> something simple. We'll see. Maybe we can put Brittany on that one. See what you think, Brittany. Mm -hmm. She's good at Canva. So are it's you. Good in, uh, yeah, Canva, Canva's work. Huh? In kindergarten, oh, yeah. they print off basic. They print off basically um, like thirty versions of the same certificate, and then they'll like this person wins biggest smile, or this person right. wins, and you could just write it in. Mm -hmm. But it's not very work intensive at all. So, hey, how about we put if we got stickers? Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, something like that. That's a good anyway, idea. okay, and maybe encourage the neighbors to to uh, if they want, you know, to stick to their neighborhood. Not that I I, I know some of them want to go all over the place, but mm -hmm. when you have little kids, that's not easy to do. Mm -hmm. Not to say you're going to exclude anybody, but I'm just yeah. we'll yeah. chat on it. We'll get it ready. Yeah. So that's our next step, but. Um, there's other things too. Sue, anything else, Kate, you could think of? Uh -uh. No, it was a nice day. We were good. Yeah, we yeah. too. So, um, just going back to the lug a mug, um, I because I haven't had a chance to do my neighborhood yet, uh, my streets, um, I joined Bonnie um when she did hers and Roger was there and it was the day the night that there was this unbelievable thunderstorm <laughs> I can't remember I think it was last Monday I I don't know anyhow so we were all sitting uh around her driveway and then the the storm starts and there's like thunder and everything so we all moved over into her garage and, uh, but it was a really good, uh, a pretty good turnout. There was about eight people. And uh, yeah, so um, everybody was really, uh, uh, did a lot of participation in, um, you know, talking about their, um, uh, their concerns and their experiences with, you know, some of the things that have happened in the, in the neighborhood. So it was a really good eye opener and I'm not sure if, um, uh, Kate, when, when Roger went to yours, um, did he mention something about, uh, checking for shoes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I thought yeah. that was like, whoever thinks of that. Yeah. And I thought that was the greatest, um, hint and you know sometimes you 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 that's that's the last thing you look at you you look at their faces first and but anyhow that was that was one of the things he said that struck me mm -hmm. but um there were a couple of uh people that brought their kids so that was good too um the the rainstorm kind of <laughs> scared them a little bit but we were all <laughs> snuggled up in in the garage yeah nice yeah that's a way to get to know your neighbors yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good. so um okay so even if roger didn't go through the five steps as we kind of you know imagine it would go down um on the facebook 
I did post mm -hmm. all the five steps. So, you know, if neighbors do ask him, you know, whatever, if you're chatting with somebody and it does come up, they're now all on the Facebook, which is really good. And feel free to share it into your guys' own groups, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a good thing to do. Um, but yeah, so any other comments or maybe suggestions we should think about for the Lugamug? Um, was it enough time to talk to your neighbors about it? Yeah. Yeah? OK. Yeah, ours was about an hour, I think, AK. Yeah, I think it was wrapped up pretty well in an hour. And I think that's enough. You, I don't think people want to commit too much time, right? It's just get out and meet each other. Um, yeah, I, th I thought it was good. I think for every event that, uh, like, it was very informative and people had a lot of questions about neighborhood safety. I feel like we want to like keep in mind for every event that's like informative and safety based. We want to have something yeah. like on the, on the lighter side of community too, so it's not like it's um, it doesn't feel yeah. alarmist. Alarmist. It's also about kind of building neighborhoods mm -hmm. too. So, which is I think we're we're doing anyways. But it's just something. The questions that people had were really good. And I think like the shoes. He talked about what to do. Like if you see somebody, where to call. We also had the added bonus. We have an OPP officer who lives on our street too, who came yeah. and kind of started asking questions and they were talking, well, the OPP can do this and right. you know, North Bay police can do this, which is good. Um, but you definitely sense like, especially I think with some like older people who may live alone, like you don't, you don't want to see them live in fear either, right? Like you want them to feel like it's, they can go out and be informed, but also enjoy their neighborhood in the safest way possible. So I think it's neat to do something around. I think doing something around Halloween is a really good idea. Yeah, and I think they can get out and notice two weeks early. Yeah. You think, Kate? And then, uh, perfect. and I yeah. think that's a way, wonderful way to keep it informal mm -hmm. and, uh, but still informative. So maybe what we could do is a flyer to say, uh, you're invited to, uh, you know, carve a pumpkin, uh, put out your books and boards that you don't want anymore from two to four on Saturday, something like that. And then maybe on the other side, we could put some safety tips for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. For our neighborhood. When we can find something. It's a great idea. Uh, rip off and copy, <laughs> find some yeah. points. And uh, if we do that, eh, Brittany, I think that would be. Uh, and then we could offer the same to Bonnie if, it, if you guys want to join in with us, you know, to do that in your neighborhoods. Just to, just, uh, and the only thing we'd have to think about is what kind of award we'd give, you know. Yeah. All right. It can just I, be more, you know, the good old term bragging rights. It could just be like a little post on Facebook, or maybe it could even be a poll on Facebook in your mm -hmm. group. Like everyone posts the photo and then it's it's a poll. I don't know. I haven't mm -hmm. really done polls on Facebook, but or we could go around and take photos. Yeah. yeah. You know. Encourage okay. or you know, you can encourage everyone to put if they want to enter, that's how they enter is post a photo into the Birch Haven area one and then it's done that way kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I think using Facebook as the tool to kind of get everyone, because it is hard to go around, take the time, right, and go take all these photos. But yeah. if you have the time, like, all power to you. Um, but yeah, we, we can definitely chat about that and get some posters going. What about, Sue, so what, what streets are you thinking of? Are you doing um, probably, uh, McIntyre West and Copeland up to, uh, Bell, Bell and Murray. That's a big area. Wow. That is, yeah, that's a little, um, and, and, uh, Bonnie offered maybe to come with me. So, um, is Liz Lott in that neighborhood too? Yeah. She's right behind me. Good. That because I think that would be um, uh, that's a big area, but we have a hundred houses in our area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could I could maybe ask Liz if I can get her um, 
her list of uh, email addresses and perhaps just because they're pretty much all in that our, our neighborhood. Yeah. Like on the streets. <laughs> Um, uh, I know she's busy doing a movie right now, so, um, I, I'd have to go and check with her. Okay. All right. I wonder if, Brittany, I don't know what kind of reporting has to be done, like, to, um, the police services in the city of North Bay, but I'm wondering if we should even start, like, a, an open Google Doc or something that has the five um steps to a safer neighborhood because you could almost use that as a framework to measure results and like tie everything together as I was sitting here looking at it like the first one is get to know your neighbors so you hosted the log a mug and then had Roger out to talk about not being a target and reporting suspicious activity and then yeah. for getting out and about you can say we're doing this Halloween event that's like you swap books or puzzles or and you and that way it's kind of all categorized so if you're applying for grants in the future you have to report back if people have contributed dollars to the project it's okay. all, all the deliverables are okay uh, so a google doc of the five steps and kind of put our little initiative slash activity yeah just to kind of track everything that's happening because i just think if we're calling it a pilot project then we, then you can like you can measure results right or say these yeah. are the actionables we took and then that might actually encourage other people to do it and replicate it in their own neighborhoods and yeah for sure and that can it, be done. give them ideas sorry yeah okay sorry that's i that's not probably anywhere on the agenda but i just oh, it's no. to, to think like to do it at the beginning and then create and try and go back and retrace that. no that makes sense for sure thank you for that I, yeah. I think Track. It is pilot, so we need to kind of, mm -hmm. you know, we're we're creating as we go. Yeah, and we can share these ideas with others, and that'd be, I think that's what we want. eh? we want to grow resilient neighborhoods, and you know, make sure we're safe and strong. Mm -hmm. And um, so the other thing, where are we, anyways? All right, now we should move. We're going to talk about the survey. Yeah, um, which should, if we think we're ready to send it out and start talking to um, even more of the public about about it, what do we think? Well, I can't remember what was on the survey. Yeah, we can go check it out. Some stuff might like, yeah, we did this quite a few months ago. We might have to go back and redo it. Yeah. Oh, okay. not sure. Here. All right. So this is what we had we had written up. I was drawing about your neighborhood. Provide examples below. Look, are there seniors living in your neighborhood? Are there children? What type of neighborhood do you live in? Are you familiar with who your neighbors are? Did you get to meet your neighbors? How long did you walk around your neighborhood? What activities do your neighborhood, does your neighborhood participate in? What activities would you like to see happen in your neighborhood? You have community garden gathering places in your neighborhood. Okay, good. I think that's good so far. What do you think, guys? Would you be interested in learning more about Clean Green Beautiful New Initiative Growing Resilient Neighborhoods? Would you be interested in becoming a leader for your neighborhood? What, can we find another word other than leader? What do you think it could be? Uh, how do I find it? Oh, there we go. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we were... <sighs> We went we went back and forth on this question quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, would you be interested in um yes, because team captain, we didn't like that word. Um I'm trying to think of what because uh, it, it it Advocate. you know you also don't want to sugarcoat it either. Like if they do take on this initiative, like you know, they are expected to 
maybe you know run an activity or two right like so we don't want to sugarcoat it either you but interested? I understand maybe the word leader is a little um how about saying something like would you be interested in getting together with another neighbor and showing leadership for your neighborhood or something I don't know you know what I'm trying to say like mm -hmm. Or co-lead? Would you like to co-lead? Mm -hmm. Co-lead? Uh, for your neighborhood? Mm. Okay. You do need someone to lead. Yeah. So. Okay, co-lead. We'll do that. We'll. I'll change that. What do you think? That, is that kind of a confusing word? Mm -hmm. I can't I, think of another one, but it, it is a little bit confusing. Yeah. That means that you're you're accepting it for someone else. Well, maybe what we should do is go, are you interested in becoming a leader? And then in brackets, put S. More than one leader. Bracket S. How about joint leader? Yeah. yeah. That's good. I like that. Joint leader. Good thinking. Okay. We'll go with joint leader for your neighborhood. I hope, people, that, don't, do like I hope people don't confuse that with joints. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe they will. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Boy, you sure when you walk down the street, you sure know who's, who's smoking. God. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Gee whiz, I think, I think I smell a skunk. Nope, no skunk. No, it's not a skunk. <laughs> okay, I might, I'm gonna have to probably leave in five minutes. Okay. I have to go do an interview. All um, right. But okay, so I will be fixing up the survey. Mm -hmm. uh, like we said, we're planning on sending it out via MailChimp with our clean green recipients that, you know, already get our MailChimps. But we'll also put it on Facebook. You know, we're looking for your input, that kind of thing. So encourage everyone to share it into their groups. So when I do um, post that. Before you send I, it out, I think it should have a little bit of a description of we, yeah. have, we, did, a, we did a pilot project uh, in two neighborhoods in North Bay to determine if there was interest in growing resilient neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the the pilot project was very successful. Two neighborhoods on board, or I don't know if you're calling yours a neighborhood, Sue, or not. But uh, we're going with Bonnie's neighborhood and ours so far. But um, just to give them a little bit of a heads up of what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So. Basically, like since the MailChimp, like the survey will be a link in the MailChimp, but my MailChimp body will be the description of the pilot project and so on. Okay. Yeah. Here's uh -huh. what other neighbor, here's what the two, here's what other neighborhoods are thinking of doing or um, any, anything we do, like even pumpkin carving or, you know, a celebration on Halloween. Those are all just tools to get to know each other better, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I think. And have fun. And if any of you know somebody on Premier Road, I do. There's a few members there. Um, be lovely to have them share because they've been doing things for years to get their neighbors together. And I think that's really neat. You know? Definitely. Yeah. So, you know, I think we should all kind of, brainstorm some challenges activities uh what you know every neighborhood is different but you know we should kind of start thinking of those ideas um i know next month i did want to do the whole food drive thing um so i'll be contacting like canador and which is a neighborhood on their own you know like the residents and everything <laughs> so that's going to be an activity that can be encouraged uh, within our neighborhoods as well but yeah so the um, board game and books that's a great one 
Uh, that's a, I have a question. Refood yeah. drive. Yeah. Or, do you mean for the food bank? So I was thinking of doing um, the, the student food banks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just that. So Canador and Nipissing? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I was just wondering I because I know like last, if it was going to be for like the food bank or even for them, if we could maybe reach out and ask them what they need because yep. I know what the food bank experienced a lot the past couple of years is like a swell of donations which is mm -hmm. really great however yep. like they're only equipped to handle so much and then they have to get it out and there's certain specific things they need so I just want to make sure like if we're working to to help organizations we're doing it in a way that is actually really going to help them <laughs> No, for sure. Um, I was thinking more of the students. Uh, yeah. I feel like they might get less, but who knows, yeah. right? Oh, so, for sure. Yeah, I was going to reach out to them, see if they did want to work together, you know, set up a place where people can go drop it off. And of course, get a list of kind of what's what's best, you know, okay. and what's needed. Cool. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and at the same time, I think it would be a nice in to see if uh the students at Canada would be interested in becoming like a neighborhood right mm -hmm. oh so, yeah and yeah well there there are apartment and I think we should put it in our description too um a micro neighborhood or a, a neighborhood could be any size mm -hmm. it doesn't have it could be a courtyard it could be an apartment building mm -hmm. you know? and I had a lady today who lives in Calendar who she was at uh, the village and she was so grateful to be involved with the group. Did you hear that, her, Sue? And she's uh, new to North Bay. You know, I moving from Toronto, like, how do you get to know people? Mm -hmm. Must be hard. Yep. And um, if it's the person I'm thinking of, um, yeah, I think she's grateful to, to come on walks and different things and, and meeting, meeting people. Yeah. And I think we have a new neighbor in our street, eh, Kate? The neighbor, I think they have a son who's a bit challenged. He's living in Karina Moore's house. Oh, really? Yeah, they're yeah. brothers from Toronto. Yeah, I didn't know they were from Toronto. Yeah. I've seen them out and about and said. But uh, so, you know, it's nice to make people feel welcome. Yeah. You know, especially in our city. So. But okay, um, any, any other thoughts? I have one last question. Just because when the survey comes out and when, and when it's kind of announced, I'll share it on the, the foundation page too, which should pick up because it just really strongly links back to community. But I want to make sure I get it right. So for the neighborhood, are we are we saying like co-leaders, joint, joint, joint leaders? What do you want? Like Sue, Bonnie, yourself, myself, what are our what do you want me to refer to us as? Co-leaders? I think uh, we're not co-leaders. What is the word? Uh, yeah. co-organizers. We're or, uh, what is the right word? Because there's like our neighborhoods where we're organizing or leading and then this is what a steering committee I don't I'm just trying to growing <laughs> resilient neighborhoods yeah, okay um clean green beautiful project you know yeah okay. and, but the whole idea maybe just a little bit about um creating a what do you call it um mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm brain dead. I need a nap right now. No, uh, just like I wanted to, I'll tie it in because it's growing resilient neighborhoods. Like That's a safe like place, safe, yeah. safe uh, neighborhoods. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know what? Creating a sense of aliveness, I use this a lot. Aliveness, connection and belonging within your neighborhood. That's what it's about because that's what we all need. We all need to feel connected. And I can tell you when those girls are climbing those mountains, Sue, <laughs> uh, you certainly feel connected and supported. Yeah. 
you know, and if we create that kind of energy within each of our neighborhoods, we'll have a very, very strong city, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I okay. think. But, yeah. Does so, that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Publicly, I'm just going to like, I'll, I'll share all the wording that we have and then yeah. just tie it into the, I, I want to make sure that people know what it is, right? When they go, yeah. that'll kind of encourage them to fill it out. And then when I report to my board, I'm just going to call this a committee too. And say yeah. that yeah, okay. I, do, I do a lot of reporting, obviously. It's top of mind. <laughs> I, I'd like to get together with, uh, I'd like to find somebody on Premier and find out. Like, that's a long road. That's almost yeah. a kilometer long, that road. But they're all involved. We've okay. done a walk there. I want to do a walk uh, uh, in the fall there. I'm going to make a note of that because that, that, uh, that street is so much fun because before Halloween, the creative, the creative yeah. energy there that goes into that, eh? You know, and isn't that doesn't that create that lovely feeling? You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'd like to see that created on our street. You know where? Yeah. And the and the kids and there's so many little kids here, for them to have that sense of my neighbors. I know my neighbor's first name, mm -hmm. you know. My neighbors next door call me Miss Harriet. <laughs> not a, a hoot. So I call them Miss Alicia and Mr. Simon. <laughs> my, my kids call you mommy's friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. We saw your friend. The <laughs> okay. Mommy's friend. Oh, that's cute. Yes. Okay. So oh, okay. what else have we got? Is that it? Have we got enough, Brittany? That was pretty much it on the kind of the agenda. Um, but yeah, if you want to keep me updated on the activity that you're thinking of doing, um, you know, Kate, I don't know if but you Kate, would like to do the poster and everything, go for it. But if you'd like to just take something off your hands, yeah. then like I could do it as well. It's totally yeah. up. And that's why Brittany's here. She's our intern, and uh, exactly, and and we can give our ideas to her. And mm -hmm. same thing, you know. Yeah. So whichever way works. Um, Kate, Kate, now yeah. we'll get together. Maybe this weekend we'll just kind of get it all together. Yeah. I've I've got uh, uh my books and boards already. Beat the parents. Mm -hmm. There's a game called Beat the Parents. Oh. And it's a trivial pursuit game. Oh wow. I think I think I have books that I can come and drop off, Harriet. Okay. Um, you know, but my mom I'd, I'd like to get a little uh, library for kids going, but I'd like to get an adult one going too. I have a lot of books. Mm -hmm. They're brand new and I haven't I just haven't had time. I have a book fairy and, and she put four books at a time in a month. I haven't got time. You know, but I, I don't mind loaning them out as long as they come back. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Why wouldn't we share that? And then it'll make for good conversation. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so quick question. Should we reach back out to Roger and Bren before the survey is sent out? Or do you think we're okay yeah. with No, I think we should send the survey to them okay. to let them know what we're trying to do. Okay, so yeah. I will draft like the MailChimp. And then I'll send it over and- uh, Why don't you send it? Would you any? Would you want to see it first, Kate? We could, we could all be included in including mm -hmm. Roger like, and the city as um, uh, like just like a test. And that's kind of updating yeah. on where we're at too. It saves you a separate update. You can yeah. say, this is where yeah. we're at. Is there a next step? Yeah. And okay. um, my Living Fit group, you know, they all live all over the place. So- mm -hmm. Um, there's a chance that they might be able to connect with someone in their in their neighborhoods, like just like Bonnie and Sue have done, the West yeah, End. Exactly. And uh, there's some on the airport. They're all over. So, mm -hmm. uh, and you hold, you know, it's to create that intergenerational mix. And uh, yeah, I think it'd be awesome. Um, are there is there a catchment area, Lido? Like if somebody from calendar season who comes to your group or something are they allowed to participate too just well i think we're supposed to keep it to north bay but if they want to um so there there is a movement for 
um, in sturgeon and calendar to do a clean green beautiful calendar and a clean green mm -hmm. beautiful. sturgeon has already picked that up mm -hmm. they call it sturgeon falls clean green beautiful i think i think it's called the beautification group yeah mm -hmm. but uh they 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 have uh really it's very strong way stronger than their council <laughs> right oh um, well yeah but yeah. council is just a whole other story but yeah gail is is uh, the lady that takes care of it she is very persistent <laughs> yes she even started I've, a farmer's market in yes. Sturgeon Falls. i've i've worked with gail and she she's really you know <laughs> it's kind uh, of funny sometimes what she posts but it's it's good she might she might pick up on you never know but you yeah. know what that, yeah. that's what what we're trying to do really is inspire our community mm -hmm. To, no, to, for be sure. more, to be more to be kind and uh or kinder and uh share what they know and and help other people i mean that's what the game eh? i i know i'm getting to just that little visit we had here going door to door that was a great experience mm -hmm. people were very very receptive and there are there are pockets in different areas but I see that as an advantage, like Carol LaPerrier, she said, if you need any help, just tell me and I'll go and talk to the neighbors up on Calair here. Mm -hmm. nice. you know, so we've, we've got that connection now and she's very outgoing. So I know she would do that. So there, there's, chan there's a chance here for us to really grow a really strong, resilient neighborhood and share that with the rest of the community. So well, there's an opportunity to it together because those that Vivian and Colaire they do like at Christmas one of them dresses up as Santa one of the guys and like delivers presents to the kids he comes in on a snowmobile so we <laughs> can like tie the two spaces Cute. together like yeah. I think some of it's just about like not every neighborhood functions the same as ours and we, have, we have lots of room to grow too but if we can show other neighborhoods like kind of the good things that are happening too I just I think safety is important and I think like that that element of people feeling safe is really good but my motivations are really to kind of create something more positive so I want to like if we could feature that stuff I know I keep saying that. Do you know I I had one of the ladies uh Kate that came that was came down for our, uh, our growing resilient neighborhoods came up to me at, at the farmer's market and took bags with her son and, and her dog and said, this is my, he introduced herself. I didn't yeah. remember her, but you know, yeah. and her name is Beth. That's what I remember now. Mm -hmm. And she said, this is my son. Who, and she, it was kind of funny because she went, who lives with me now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and her, and her puppy, and she introduced me to her puppy and, and uh, he's got his dog too. She said. Yeah. We, we had fun and, and we were laughing. Yeah. But so I thought that was nice. Yeah. I think that's the draw for people, stories like that, right? Like just, Yeah, and it that's how we're getting to know each other a little better. Now I find that even people walk by and they're seeing there's more yeah. of a connection and that's nice. Mm -hmm. So yep. All right. I gotta go. Yeah, me too. So, but yes, if there's anything else that comes up, feel free to email me. And like I said, um this week, next week. I will be working on the MailChimp and getting all that settled. To okay. And we'll work on, on what we want on that poster. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We'll yeah, let me know. You. We want it to be flashy. Love it. Halloweeny. Love Halloween. No weenies, just Halloweeny. I'm a spooky gal. Okay, sounds good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Okay. I recorded okay. this. Do you want the recording? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, bye.